This is Alex Pierce, alexpierceproductions.com. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you um, how to do a basic stitch, and I'm going to do it over a few different videos. This particular video, we're going to talk about saving the project, synchronization, and the first stitch. So, first thing to do is obviously open AutoPano Video Pro, and then you're going to drag all your videos into the workspace. I'm using uh, 2.3 Beta 1. Um, this just came out two days ago. So um, I've only used it a little bit, but so far it seems to be um, really, really cool. I like a lot of the new features. Um, okay, so once you've got that, uh, the very first thing to do is save the project. And I know that may seem silly, but um, it's important. Just take my word for it, it's important. So we're going to call this. Um, We'll call this stitching. <laughs> Very original title there. Okay, so you want to save it in the same folder where all of your videos are stored. Um, so that that'll be the default place. But just push save. Okay. Very next step is synchronization. Um, this is really important. So before we get into all this, the 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 first thing to do is to find where you clap. And if you don't clap, don't worry about it. But when, from, from now on, you need to make sure that you have um, either a clap or um, a slate so that you have a very clear um, peaking in the, in the audio track. So to do that, you go to your videos here, you click on unmute to one of these, and then push play. Play back. Okay, that was a pretty weak clap, but it'll do the trick. So then pause right there, it's going to automatically update the timeline where that was. Um, and then if you look at up here in the synchronization tab, it says search range around current time. So around this time in the timeline, the way I have it set up right now, it will search four seconds on either way. Um, the default is something like 30 seconds, and I've found that uh, the best thing to do is get, that, that, get this number right here to be as small as you can. Um, I've just had better luck with that. So. I'm going to push use audio to synchronize and cross my fingers and hope that it works. <laughs> okay, let's see. Calculating sound based synchronization and warning synchronization does not seem reliable. You can select another point in the timeline, blah, blah, blah. So, again, I'm in the right place here, so I'm just going to try to go, maybe I can go down to three seconds and see what that does. The key to um, synchronization, uh, let me back up. So, uh, Color and Video Stitch, both of their sound syncing, their engines are um, really poor, to be honest. I mean, I have a whole tutorial based on how to sync it in uh, Premiere for this very problem, this very reason. So maybe I'll try six seconds. Um, another thing you do is, is use motion to synchronize, and we might be able to do that, but I don't think there's a lot of uh, a lot of motion in this particular clip. Uh, I shot this. This is actually uh, this was in Israel, but it was actually the first thing I ever shot. So there's a lot of things that I would do differently now, and one of them is what I would definitely add motion at the end of uh, at, the be at the beginning or end of each of these clips. So I'm having trouble synchronizing. So what do I do? This is when I go into Premiere. Um, I go into Premiere Pro and I'll figure out the sync and I'll put it back in here. So I'm going to do that now. I was able to sync it in Premiere and now I have the correct value. So if you have Premiere and you want to know how to do it, go to my blog and check out the post where I did it because there should actually be absolutely no reason why uh, their audio synchronization wouldn't work here, but it didn't. And I tried a bunch of things. I tried more time. I tried less time. I tried moving in the time frame, and nothing worked. Okay. So once you've synchronized, the next step is to stitch. So now, if you go to this here, you got stitch. Um, in here, the first thing is to select the correct lens. So I have the Hero 4 Black. So I click there. If you don't, um, if you don't have a camera here send me a message or a comment and I can I can point you in the right direction. Um, I have some other profiles that I use, I just have lo loaded them in to the new beta version. Let's see, then down here you have 
current position or current selection. In general, just use current position. Current position is going to, wherever you're at in the timeline, is go, it's going to stitch based on that. Once you have found a place in the clip where that looks similar to what you want to stitch, then you click stitch. And down here it'll give you the information. And if you want to abort, you just click here. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, and there is our basic stitch. You can see it's, it looks pretty good actually. It looks pretty good. The, this real-time preview window, you can change the orientation. You can, you can make it, you know, you can try to straighten it. You can do some things. Uh, I will get into more advanced features in the next tutorial, which is continuing the basic stitch, because this, in my opinion, this is never a finished stitch. This is okay, and it looks good, and as a preview, it's decent, but there's a lot of things that I'm looking at right now that I can fix pretty quickly once we get into Giga. One of the main things I will point out now is straight straight lines. So you can't, in an auto pano video, you can't really get these lines straight. So like if you look at this line, it's not quite straight. This one's not quite straight. These are a little bit off and I can, you know, I can try to make them straight, but there's it's quite limited. So for me that's one of the number one things where I can tell either someone was lazy with their stitching or they they don't really know how to stitch is how straight are these vertical lines. Join us on the next clip to find out more advanced features. This is Alex Pierce, alexpierceproductions.com.